Hi, and welcome back to the Crypto Dave YouTube channel. So those of you who have been following the news uh, recently will know that Bitcoin Gold um, hard fork actually happened probably about a month ago now or three or four weeks ago. And just um, it was either early today or yesterday, depending where you are in the world, um, the main net for Bitcoin Gold launched. So you can now mine on the um, on the mainnet. So um, I'm just going to take you through a very quick step-by-step uh, -step guide how to get up and running mining on Bitcoin Gold. So um, if you don't know anything about it, um, you can go to their website. It's just BitcoinGold.org is the website. And if you do did have a uh, Bitcoin at this particular block here, which was uh, 4917407 uh, even, um, you can put in your Bitcoin address, original Bitcoin address here, and you can check the uh, balance to see how much you've actually got of uh, Bitcoin gold. But um, what we're going to do, if you go to the, the main pages, there's, there's lots of information about the um, about the coin and what they're trying to do. But um, towards the bottom of the page is this page here. And it's um, basically just a very quick um, how to mine Bitcoin gold on a pool. So um, basically all I'm going to do is just step you through this um, bit by bit um, via video, via this kind of instructional video, just um, to answer any kind of questions you have and um, make sure that it's uh, easy to follow and you can get up and running mining um, hopefully today. But um, anyway, um, this is the page to go to. I'll put all these links um, below. But um, as always, when I am about to um, set up uh, mining for a new uh, coin, um, I put just a, a quick text file on the um, on the desktop with all the useful information. So um, this is the uh, wallet address where we're going to generate a wallet, and then I've got um, uh, headings here. So this is going to be our uh, address once we set up the wallet to get an address for Bitcoin Gold, and this is the pool. So all the, the useful information that we'll then need to kind of copy and paste into other uh, text files uh, can go here. So I, I always recommend setting up just a, a little text file on the uh, on your desktop. But um, anyway, first thing you need to do is go to um, this uh, BTG wallet. So if you don't have a, a Bitcoin Gold wallet already, you can create one um, nice and simply, and that's this um, page here. It's an online wallet creator. You can download the page and run the page offline if you're worried about uh, information being sent up to them. Um, uh, I don't think there are any issues. I have um, um, checked it. I did actually do it offline earlier. But um, if you go here, basically all you need to do is click new and then address. And then this will basically create a new address for you, which is a Bitcoin gold uh, address. So there's various options if you want to do um, custom seeds or you want to encrypt your private key uh, with a password. It, by default, you can just do the standard one. It seems to work fine. Just click generate and it will generate an address, um, a public key and then a private key, which obviously you'll want to uh, keep uh, safe. So what we can do there is just uh, copy the address into our text file here. And then we'll copy the public key over and you can use this to verify your address um, later, make sure it's set up OK. And then if you click to show the private key now, <clears throat> excuse me, obviously this is not the actual um, wallet and private key I'm going to be using because obviously you would never show your private key to anybody. I'm just doing this as a demonstration. So that's all you need to do. Once you've grabbed that information, you can um, leave this um, page alone there. So if you go back to the um, information, what we need to do now is download some mining software. Now I have a, an AMD card, so that's a Radeon. Um, so I just download this. If you click on the download link, and again, if you have an NVIDIA card, just click the NVIDIA download link. Now I'm on a Windows machine, so I'm just going to download uh, this one here, which is Claymore's BTG AMD uh, GPU miner. If you're on Linux, uh, you'll grab that version. And I actually did download that just to save a, a few seconds earlier today. So you'll get a file like this. You just need to um, extract uh, that. So you can extract that and then you'll see within that there's a Mac OS um, version which you don't need to worry about because I'm actually on Windows now. And this is the folder with all the mining software um, that you will just need to kind of copy this somewhere that you're going to run it from. So I copied it over to uh, my desktop and uh, I'll show you that now. So here's the folder here on the desktop and you'll get these folders. Now, as I've uh, mentioned before, you can have issues with Windows trying to deactivate. So um, once you move it over to your desktop or wherever you're going to be running it from, go to Windows Defender, click settings in the bottom left and then virus and threat protection settings. And if you scroll down, there's an exclusions, add or remove exclusions and you just literally add an exclusion. So you can see I've added it up here. You just click add an exclusion folder, find the folder, which is this one here, select the folder, click yes. 
and it will add that in. I've already added mine in. But um, the other thing, the first time you run it, it may pop up in your um, firewall whether you want to allow it to run um, within um, public networks, private networks, um, and that kind of thing. So just allow that if that pops up. So if we jump back to the instructional page, you should now have your um, your folder with the miner here, but we haven't configured it yet. So if you um, actually go back to uh, this page, you can see it's quite simple um, to set up. So if you're on NVIDIA, you edit the start.bat file. You'll have slightly different um, files here because it will be a slightly different miner. But uh, for um, Radium, which is the AMD cards, what you need to do is edit the config.txt file. And you just basically put in your uh, BTG wallet address and then a worker name. So the wallet address is just this um, address here. So if we can copy that, and then if we go back into the folder, so this is all the things, we open up config.txt, and all you need to do is overwrite this, oh, sorry, not with the worker, so it's overwrite this with your address. Now this is the address I actually set up earlier, and then you can put a period here, and then the name of your worker. So I've just called it worker1, and then close that down, save it, and then literally we can just click start.bat and it takes a few seconds to get up and running but we should see it um, have a look so it's found my AMD card available um, it looks at the card it works on what it is so this is a Radeon RX it's actually an RX 580 so that's correct and then it will take a few seconds and then here we are so <clears throat> it's starting to mine now now every time I've opened up this miner the first share has always been rejected and then it's been fine after that so I'm not quite sure um, why that's actually happening but um, if we look, wait for a few seconds you should start to see shares uh, being accepted but if your first share is is rejected don't worry um, there we can see a share accepted there uh, don't worry it seems to do this every time on my uh, on this miner um, as soon as you open it up it, it automatically rejects the share so I don't know exactly what it's it's doing there but um it, it's nothing to worry about as long as you're not getting lots and lots of these uh, rejected shares so as it runs you'll see um, some GPU information it will receive um, jobs from the pool um, that's the only other thing I suppose I should mention so in the config.txt um, the pool we're using here this is you can specify different pools but uh, I'm using the EU pool and pool.gold I believe has um, different pools um, all around the world so choose the one that's um, local to you but um, we can see this uh, running here that all seems to be running okay and then if we I'll just make a note of my address here and then we can go actually into the pool so the pool that I'm using here to demo is pool.gold and if you go to that um, it's just mine.pool.gold and you can sorry about this I'll just wait for the phone to stop and then I'll be right back so sorry about that it's just the phone going in the background hopefully uh, that wasn't too disturbing so um yeah the pool is just mine.pool.gold and um this is the main page of the pool there's a getting started guide and there's various graphs and then a worker stats which is at the end here and then you can see here if we just scroll down you can see all the workers that are connected to uh, the pool and what you can do is put your address paste your address in here and uh, that's my address there that I looked up earlier now when I did this um, earlier it it didn't seem to work very well. It was very, very slow. So um, what you can just do is um, use a uh, control F to to find um, it on the uh, the page. Now, unfortunately, I'm on. Um, actually, this might work. Um, send key combinations. Um, ah, there we go. So um, yes. Yeah, so uh, this is my pool here. Um, sorry, my uh, worker address here. Um, sorry, because I'm on um, a remote. Uh, machine sometimes the um, the shortcuts that I use on my Mac um, are different for the Windows machine so I can't always send them across but um, yeah you can see here this is the um, the worker our worker here that's gone across so this is um, our hash rate and you can see that the um, this is 5.4 so I presume that is um, shares so since we started that a few seconds ago um, it's received 5.4 shares um, no issue. You can click on that and then we can get um, information about um, the actual miner. So this is worth a uh, bookmarking. Um, 
and then you can kind of go directly into your worker and, and this will give your information the amount of shares immature balances paid and, and that kind of thing um, as I said it does seem a little bit kind of slow at the moment to uh, load up but um, that should all be working uh, fine hopefully in the foreseeable future but um Anyway, if we jump back to the miner quickly, we can see there's more shares. It's receiving jobs from the pool um, and it is uh, performing shares. So that is running uh, successfully. Um, after a few minutes, as I said, your, uh, your address should show up on the pool. If you give it five minutes, it's not showing up on the pool or you're getting a lot of uh, rejections here. Just go back and double check that you've got all your configuration stuff um, set up correctly. But um, anyway, it's that simple to um, get up and uh, run in with the mining. As you can see here, it's literally just a case of following the steps here. So if you get confused, just uh, go back to this page and, and run through the steps. But the only thing I would say is that um, as seems to be happening a lot with kind of mining software if you download it on windows it often tries to um, delete it so you need to put those exceptions in windows defender uh, to make sure that it won't delete your mining software but anyway i hope that was uh, useful i haven't done any kind of um, optimizations or anything like that it's literally just a case of i just uh, went through the steps to check it was actually kind of working and uh, yeah it seems to be running nicely so um, if you're interested in getting mining with bitcoin gold if you, you like bitcoin gold and want to support the network then that's how you do it um, um, and hopefully I will see you on the next video soon. Have a great day and uh, catch you soon. Bye-bye.